Hey, what's going on, people? Welcome back to another brand new video. This is Bear Fox, and in this video today, I'm gonna be showing you guys is GeForce Now really worthy to buy in 2021? And again, guys, watch this video till the end because I'm gonna be good diving very deep and explaining all boons and bane of the service and is it really a good idea to buy a membership in 2021 again this guide will be based on my opinion and comments i have been getting since the past year over the application so i am judging everything on the note of those points if you feel that i'm going wrong anywhere or to add any points feel free to leave them in the comments below Again guys, we have a Discord server where you can talk directly to me. So if you are new around here and want to get updates or ask any queries, feel free to join the server from the link in the description below. And without wasting up any further ado, let's get started. Alright, we must agree that games nowadays require beast like computers or at least a 1050 Ti graphics card to run at minimal. But every one of us has the right to game, right? Well, NVIDIA has done something for us, a cloud gaming platform, GeForce Now. It has all premium features that you can avail for just 5 US dollars. But the question is, is it worthy to pay $5 a month? Well, that equals to $60 a year, which is not a very big deal. But still, if you want to game and you lack some good rig, here are some points that can help you make your perfect choice. So I'm going to be going through all good points and bad points of GeForce Now point wise. So yep, yeah. uh, first of all we're going to be talking about the boon or the good points alright. So the first good point is you can play games from wherever you want. Okay, so this point includes that you don't have to use your PC, you will get complete cloud gaming experience well geforce now actually allows you to play your game from any part of the world all you have to do is just log in to your account and start gaming that's it second good point of the application is that it is efficient and handy because you can use this application at any place at any time and you can even use it on your mobile so yep the third point is with some improvements your experience will be better and by that what i mean is just changing some in-game settings and some nvidia settings well you can improvise your game experience the fourth point is that there are a lot of available games you can play from they have dedicated libraries the game you can pick from is steam ea epic games and a lot of stuff so you can have a big library of games you can select and play from. Then we have the fifth point that is you can literally play any game at its best settings and by that what I mean is you can play at ultra settings and at 1080 quality with a better connection. You can definitely play games at 1080p which is not offered by all cloud gaming services you have to either pay or either play at 360 or 720p at 30 fps that that's not a big deal right so nvidia offers you to play at 1080 quality with a better connection after all without any payment that is absolutely free next point that i'm going to be covering is they have the premium quality of GPU. Now by that what I mean is Nvidia always keeps their graphics card updated while you play. So if there is a new graphic card in the market they will update it. Alright so yep you can get your quality assured. The next point is that they always have the updated system. Not only GPU but they have the whole rig updated for you time by time so you don't have to worry about getting your rig older or getting it slowly you can always have better option next step is that you have the discord rich presence so many of us you know want to show off at discord that we are playing this this game well nvidia geforce now offers you to use your current playing game as your discord presence so yep that's another plus point i must add next good point is they have internal hidden settings to improvise yep guys i'm gonna be really serious this time they have 
external hidden settings. I have covered a lot of them in my previous video, so you can just press the I button on the top right section of your screen and you can go watch some external hidden settings that you can use to improvise your gameplay. Now these are the 9 good points that I have covered. By now, I'm gonna be going to bad points that GeForce Now has while you play. Alright, the first one is that it has endless waiting queues. Now, if you guys that might have already used GeForce Now might know what I'm talking about. While playing a game, you have to wait a lot of time for getting your rig. Next point is GeForce forces you to buy a premium. That is exactly related to the first point I told you. They will make you wait longer, they'll push you back because the people with premium membership will come ahead of you always. So you get pushed back, they'll force you to buy premium. Next bad point that I feel is they don't have dedicated server to Asia Pacific region because well gamers are not only living in Europe and America, GeForce or Nvidia, if you're watching this video Please, please, I request you, get Asia and Australia region, and Africa too. We must not leave them. Please bring these region. People here are waiting to play. Fourth point is, NVIDIA are making updates in beta, so it has a lot of bugs. So I recommend you guys to update it frequently and be on the stable version. Next bad point that I feel is people in far region face a lot of fame drops and delays. Now what that means is if you are living in EU, alright, I'm talking about, I'm giving you an example, alright. So if you live in, uh, suppose, Sweden in Europe and the servers are located in France. So the distance between France and Sweden is big. Or suppose you stay in North Norway. Okay, it's, it's just more far distance so if you live in north norway the servers are located in france the distance will make your game feel delayed and you'll feel a lot of frame drops and might even feel stutter or blurry screen that is not what we expect while cloud gaming i mean yeah we expect that there would be delay but we want a, uh, you know, undisturbed sh session if we pay for it, so I must add this point to the note. Next bad point that I feel is you have to pay for RTX, even if it can be free of cost. Like Nvidia can literally provide free RTX experience for gamers. They can, they can actually buy RTX after playing on that. They must feel that is RTX really worth to buy because you know, all of us might not feel that RTX is the really good thing that we should go. Because, you know, um, a better graphics card always means better FPS, but is RTX really worth it to buy, like, paying $600 for a 2070 or 2080? Uh, well, let people experience it that's how you can gain more people to play on geforce now that's the point you can you can keep rtx free for at least like three months or six months span or like you know 90 days 180 days according to you uh, just keep it free let people experience what rtx is and let them make better decision on buying a graphics card or they should really put their money on graphics card you should make them feel like that so I feel that RTX should be free for at least a time being. Next point that I'm going to be adding is it requires a strong connection. Again guys, if you have a bad internet connection, GeForce Now is absolutely not for you because it requires hell load of internet. One hour of gaming can consume 16 to 20 gigabytes of your cellular data. So I must say, save it or either go for unlimited plans on Wi-Fi. Also, making a note of it while writing this point, you must require LAN to play with no issues. Again, moving on ahead, we have weak internet connection will give you hell load of blur. If you have packet loss or ping issues in your internet, you will feel a lot of blur. I must be straight point to it. Next ahead, GeForce Now is also available for mobile, but they have not been making any improvements for mobile gamers. Again, by that what I mean is, you still require 5G on every mobile to play on it. So, here is um, 
why I don't like it because every mobile phone does not has 5G. Alright? Do your mobile phone has 5G? I must ask. Leave down comments what you feel over of playing on 5G data or 2.4G data. You know, that makes pretty difference. But these are 9, nine points of the good and bad while making a decision of GeForce now. Even if they have pretty good and bad points, uh, if you are on note of buying GeForce 9 2021, I highly recommend you guys not to do so. If you are still ready to pay $60 a year to have a good gaming experience, it would just be a waste of money. Wait for some time, let it be stable, there are a lot of worthy opponents like Stadia, Shadow PC and more. So if you want me to make a guide where I can compare best cloud gaming services, then leave a like and hit the subscribe button with a turn on notification bell. Let's hit 150 likes on this video and I can make a guide for best cloud gaming services. Again guys, I've made a lot of guides. For Nvidia GeForce now, you can just click the i button on the top screen and you'll get a lot of videos that I have already made. You can go check them out. So we'll meet you in another video guys. Till then stay tuned. Keep watching your Firefox and peace out.